there's a new place in Toronto that is downright frosty. It's called Chill Ice House, and it's the brainchild of Toronto brothers who spent their whole lives working with ice. The result, a new wintry attraction that hopes to bring in locals and tourists alike. The greeting at Chill Ice House is unlike anything club patrons have ever had. Here's your jacket, it's your cape, made by CMFR. And we have large, mediums, and child size here. Very fashion forward, these capes. We're trying to be here at Chill. <laughs> and a set of gloves, of course, to hold because all of our glasses in there are made of ice as well. So we wanna make sure that your hands are insulated from the the cups. Oh. And we also give you a uh, wristband here, which is uh, the latest technology with NFC. So your entire experience is kept on this wristband, just as they do at uh, Disney or on cruise ships or uh, many other facilities. So I don't need a wallet. I don't you, need money. We don't want your hands getting cold, digging in pockets or looking for change or trying to fumble around. So we just give you this and it makes the experience very fast and very efficient. So I want to buy a drink. I just show you the, the bracelet. Exactly. And it gets scanned. And or? we scan it with our tablets and, uh, and everything goes into the cloud. Okay, let me take you into chill. Welcome. Thank you. Inside the giant freezer is 1,100 square feet of cold, hard ice, complete with customized carvings. It's about 185,000 pounds of ice, um, and each block is between 250 and 300 pounds. So they're 10 inches by 40 inches by 20 inches, and that's one block. This looks like a painting in the ice, so how does that happen? It is, it's exactly that. We use a CNC machine which carves it out, we program it on a, a CAD design, carves it out, and then we use acrylic paint. We pour it in and it takes a few hours to freeze, put another block on the back, and we've got this 3D image with all colors in the rainbow. Brothers Nick and Gresham Bailey came up with the idea of an all-ice attraction, something that came naturally because their family is firmly frozen in the ice business. Mom and dad are pretty impressed. We haven't killed each other, especially with chainsaws and ice picks lying around all the time. Um, but, you know, it, it's built our relationship a lot stronger. The family company is called Ice Culture. Their most recent work, creating an entire truck out of ice for a major Canadian retailer. After creating 21 ice lounges around the world in countries like Dubai, India and Greece, Nick and Gresham finally got around to building one here. We've been very fortunate that we've traveled the world and been to many, many different cities and countries around the world and, and each of those cities has you know, a lot to offer and I think that Toronto is one of the greatest cities in the world and for us to be able to bring it here and make an experience so as opposed to just somewhere just to go to have a drink this was an opportunity to create something that was really unique and um, that people will be talking about days and weeks and months later so we've just taken our favorite designs and brought it to our favorite city no club is complete without a dj booth and of course this one's solid ice and the lighting's really neat too, that you've yeah, got it lit we, up this way. We use LED lighting, which uses very uh, low energy and it's perfect in the ice because it doesn't emit any heat. So we can embed it right into the ice and it not only lights it up, it makes it glow. Everything from the hottest Disney characters to some familiar city symbols stands here firmly. I guess you can't be an ice house in Toronto, in Canada without Absolutely. An homage to Stan. While it may look like the perfect place to escape the summer heat, the Baileys want to create a year-round attraction for tourists, locals and families. It's not about um, being a bar, it's about being an attraction, a destination to do something that you don't get to do in everyday life. And as you mentioned, every kid's dream would to be in an ice fort. We've all built them in every snowbank growing up. With the temperature kept at minus five degrees, Chill is, hands down, the coolest club in town. And those gloves do come in handy. Well, I've never had a drink out of a completely ice glass before, so well, for let's sure just do it, hey? Yes, of course. <laughs> you know it's going to be a cold cocktail. Yeah, that's good and cold. And your tongue doesn't stick. I don't know if you were nervous there. <laughs> As for whether anyone would be interested in stepping into an ice-cold lounge in the winter, well, 
the Baileys have the answer to that too. When it's minus 21 out again in the winter, it'll be a great place to warm up at minus yeah. five. Yeah, it's so much warmer and no, <laughs> no wind chill.